before the reign of King Ethelred, there lived a wonderful blacksmith at a place called Smithy's Knoll. The ancient sorcerers, Dagda and Morrigu, rewarded the smithy for his brilliant work with a magic hammer that could turn ordinary metal to gold. And with magic fire that could give life to metal and stone. At first, the smithy prized his magical gifts. But years passed, and he turned them toward evil. I have made the greatest weapons ever, he said. With them, I can become king. But the sorcerers, Dagda and Morris, had not given the magical gifts for evil purposes. Because he had become evil, the sorcerers turned the smithy to bronze, fated to forever keep watch over his magic weapons and armor. He could only be released and defeated by a noble knight. But even a good sorcerer can, in time, become evil. Many years later, the smithy's tale had been forgotten, although the poor king was certainly in need of a new suit of armor. Yes. What is the matter with this armor? It has been a long time since you've worn this armor, sire. And what is that supposed to mean? N -n Nothing, Your Highness. Understand? The suit of armor always fit before. It is a puzzle, Father. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe it shrank. Oh, that's not the point. I'm supposed to go on a royal tour of the kingdom in two days. Oh, no. You need your fancy armor. We'll begin a quest for the finest armor in the land. We don't need a quest, Dirk, just a blacksmith. Don't worry, Father. Sir Dirk and I will get you a new suit of armor. Well, thank you anyway. I'll surely be sorry, Your Highness, but armor such as that, well, could be a month at least. There's not a blacksmith in town who can make Father's armor in two days. Don't worry, Daphne. There's one more blacksmith we haven't tried. Oh, no, Your Highness. Couldn't make armor like that in less than a fortnight. Oh, if it can't be done, it can't be done. Thanks all the same. Oh, that was the last blacksmith in town, Dirk. Perhaps what you seek is not in this town. Don't be alarmed. I am Walker, and I only wish to help our king. Help? What kind of help? Indeed. I can help you find the greatest suit of armor ever made. I can lead you to it. But only a bold knight like you can gain possession of it for the king. Hmm. I am a bold knight. Oh, Dirk, armor! I'll get my squire and we'll be on our way, Walker. We can cross that valley before nightfall. Look sharp, Sir Dirk. There may be danger there. Does 
king have to have new armor? Of course he does. Sir Dirk. Dirk, that other dragon just vanished. Hmm. I must have scared it off. Come, we have almost reached our destination. <gasps> I've never seen anything like it. There is nothing like the glass castle. Once the home of Dagda and Maragu. Who and who? Two ancient sorcerers. Masters of lore and magic. But the castle is empty. Doctor and Maragu are gone. Let's go in for just a quick look, Dirk. Well, I... No, there is danger. The castle is guarded by the Kale Rock. Oh, it's beautiful. Attack. <laughs> Quickly, Sir Dirk. Sword is useless. Only diamonds can harm it. Fresh out of diamonds. Dirk! Catch! A gift from Princess Daphne. our destination, Smithy's Knoll. Inside is the armor we seek. Must be some suit of armor. Sir Dirk, you and I must go in alone. The princess and squire can keep watch here. You've uh, been here before? A long time ago, but I remember the way. Interesting, but that armor doesn't look very special. You'll see. What? Gone? Someone has been here. Any idea who? Too bad this statue can't tell us. Put the blade of your sword into the forge, Sir Dirk. What for? The fire is the lock. Your sword is the key to the mystery. Huh? Well, if you say so. Sure wish that armor was as good as I'd hoped. The king needs a really nice... Walker! What the... Smithy, speak. Where is the hammer? Walker, where are you going? Correct. Tricked or not, Dirk had to think quickly. Should he try to fight all these magical weapons at once? Should he try to grab the armor and run? And what about the smithy? Could he hope to fight the ancient magical creature? If you were Dirk, what would you do? What did you decide? If Dirk had tried to duel with the magical weapons, this would have happened. And if Dirk had dodged those dangers and attacked the smithy, this would have happened. Huh? 
Dirk, however, knew that the odds were too great. A smart knight knew when to retreat so he could fight another day. in there, but you'd better explain yourself. We're listening, Walker. I didn't trick you. The magic hammer was supposed to be there. It's been stolen. What magic hammer? Mm -hmm. It's the smithy. He's heading for that village. No, you can't defeat him without the magic hammer. What if we don't believe you? Disaster. Only one other person knows of the hammer. The old fisherman. He must have it. We can't go on believing him, Dirk. Look down there. We have no choice. We've come this far. Take us to the fisherman. Something really weird about that guy. <laughs> this? The Smithy. Visitors. Strangers. But the old one, I know him well. Roll me home, old boys. It's time to right an ancient wrong. Delay the old fisherman while I find the hammer. Better do it. What else could go wrong? You two stay here. He's up to something. Yes, and we're going to find out what it is. You don't know what you're doing. Let me go. Give me a good reason. Your companion seeks the magic hammer. Is that reason enough? You know about that? I know a lot. And it's time you learned a thing or two. Uh, pretty strong for an old man. Yes. And so is that evil old man with you. I am Dada. And he is Morigu. The sorcerers? Oh, no! Daphne and Tim are in danger. Watch yourself, knight. Morigo has turned evil. He wants the hammer so he can control the smithy. I'll give him the hammer, all right. The hammer's gone. The princess, Tim, they're gone too. <laughs> Daphne and Tim went after Morigo. <laughs> we must hurry. By the dragon's teeth. I won't lose this time. That sword is useless. We must get the magic hammer. Morigo can only be defeated by his own magic. I still can't believe Bertram ran away like that. He'll be back with Sir Dirk. Look, it's Walker. Come on, Timothy. We'll teach that walker to fool with us. Yeah, well, well, I do feel kind of foolish. The strange man had indeed fooled our heroes. Daphne and Timothy still don't know that the man they call Walker is really the ancient evil sorcerer, Morigo. There he is. Morigo needed Dirk a noble human knight to bring the magical weapons back to life. Now he needs only the smithy's power. Smithy, human of old, now demon of bronze and gold. Return to me, answer my call. With your power, I shall rule all. Think again, Walker. We've got the You are foolish. You are too late. 
The smithy comes to my call. Help! Somebody help! Oh. Return to me! To me! Wait in those bushes, Bertram. We'll be right back. Remember, Knight, I can do nothing. Morrigal must be defeated by his own magic. That seems fair. Give the hammer to me. It is my creation. Come and get your stupid hammer! May I have my hammer, please? Not while there's a breath left in my body! Don't say that. The smithy will be here soon. And Dirk the Daring is already here. Danda, you fool. You always were good at name-calling, Morrigan. It's the end for you. The smithy comes. Ooh. I have done all I can. You are on your own, Sir Duck. Dirk is indeed on his own. Faced by the evil Morrigo on the one hand, and by the magical armor and weapons on the other. With the powerful beast, the smithy closing in. What would you do? If Dirk simply attacked Morrigo, this would have happened. Your sword cannot harm me. Huh? Dirk couldn't fight Morrigo that way. He couldn't fight the smithy, not with his sword. But could he battle the magic weapons? Like this? Oh, no! That was not the way either. Dirk, however, remembered what Dagda has said. A sorcerer could only be defeated by his own magic. Come on, Morago, make your attack. Dirk, look out! Dirk, the hammer Morgo used it to control the smithy. You learn quickly, Sir Dirk. He's the best there is, and boy, am I glad. <laughs> I guess the armor isn't magical anymore. Perhaps not, Sir Dirk, but it is still the finest armor ever made. And now, if you don't mind, this old sorcerer would like to return to his fishing. Sorcerers sure are funny people. Oh, I say, it is lovely. Where on earth did you get it? Well, we, uh... See, there was this old guy named Walker, and, uh... Oh, it's just something we dug up, Father. Well, it's perfect. Now I can go on my royal tour of the kingdom. Hmm, a bit big, sire. Perhaps we should have it cut down. Nonsense. I can just grow into it. And thus... Did Dirk the Daring brave the ancient magic to make the smithy's haunted armor fit for a king?